Auntie, I want to go with you at your clinic tomorrow. That'll be so much more informative for you as you're an aspirant of science. By the way, what made your mind to visit my clinic? I want to see how you treat your patients. The part I'm more excited for this is that I want to meet your friends and colleagues. Sure, that will be so liberating for you as an aspirant and student of science. Why not? Okay, then. I'm coming with you tomorrow at your clinic. But, Auntie, you didn't tell me about in our discovery and how it was tried and tested. Yeah, I remember. And let's go to my library and we'll have a nice cup of tea and talk about it. Wow! Why didn't you introduce me to tell me that you had a library like this? It's got so many books and all related to science. It's my heaven on earth. I could spend my life here. Why not, my dear? I'm so grateful that my niece is this passionate about science and dedicated to make this world a better place. Yeah, so where were we about NR? Then when did it get discovered? NR was a newly discovered molecule in early 2000s. It found a little bit in milk and other food cells. Which organism was first tested with it to test its properties? Yeast was first fed with NR, and it was observed that they lived longer by turning on the yeast sirtuins pathway. Remember, sirtuins are protein enzymes that regulate numerous cellular functions, including aging, inflammation, detoxification, stress resistance, fat, as well as glucose metabolism. How much of the lifespan was increased by it? About 30%. The lifespan of the yeast was increased by 30% when these molecules were given to them. Why did it increase its lifespan? What was the reason behind it? Look, Elsa, we know that when sirtuin pathway is turned on and there is caloric restriction, the same is happening here in yeast. As we discussed earlier, that sirtuin's activation and increase in the genome stability and epigenomic stability helps increase the lifespan of an organism. This type of study makes scientists really interested in sirtuins activation. For all this to happen, we need NAD to be in large amount. As there's gene for every function to be performed, is there any gene for NAD synthesis? No doubt in that. This gene is named PNC1, and in the human body it is named as NAMPT. Does it need to be activated? Of course. The mild stressors turn this gene on. Yeast mild stressors must be very different from the human ones. Yes, the conditions like low salts, low sugar, and heat are mild stressors for yeast, and these turn on the synthesis of NAD, and ultimately the lifespan was increased. Where did the NR go? This NR, taken as a supplement, is used to increase the levels of NADs in order to control the diminishing amount of NAD. You two are here, and I've been looking for you everywhere in the house. Come with me. I'm going for some shopping, and I want you to accompany me. Yay, shopping! I'm coming in five minutes. Just let me get ready. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get notified.